Hi, it's Chester Topwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at how to select a random name from a list. First of all, we'll do it for one name, and then we'll do it for multiple names. So let's start off nice and easily with one name. What I'm going to do is use something called RAM Between, and that will allow you to return a number, a random number, between one doesn't have to be one, it could be a higher number, and a top number. Now, I have 17 names here, so I'm going to put my 17 in there. And what it does is return a random number, uh, two in this instance. Now, if I press F9 on my keyboard, you can see it returns other random numbers. The other way of doing that is to go to formulas and press calculate now. I'll do exactly the same thing as F9. Now, what that's doing is essentially giving us a number which we can then use as the position of a name that we want to return, therefore giving us a random name. To return a value with a certain position within a column or row, we can use index. And the array is just going to be this column of numbers. And the row number is going to be returned by my RAND between function. I just need to close the bracket at the end and I press enter. And now every time I press F9 or click on calculate now, it returns a, a random name. So how do I choose more than one name? Well, it's slightly more involved. What I would do is I'd create an extra column and this time use RAND doesn't have any arguments, but what it does is return a nice unique number for each of these names. Then up here, I'm going to put first, second, and third. I want to choose three names at random. And one way I could do that is start off by using the large function. So with the large, you can specify an array, and then you can say you want to return the first largest, second largest, third largest, whatever number within that array. That's what the K is for. Now my one is in D1 and it's not allowing me to select it. So I'll type D1 in. Okay, now I'm going to actually fix that and then copy this across. So that then refers to uh, E1 and then F1, the one, two and three across the top. And you can see that the top number if I look down this list is this 0.99011 and that's what's being picked there and then happens to be the one underneath is the second largest number and then 0.96 wherever that is that's the one under that unbelievably there uh, one after the other in this column which is strange but if I press F9 it would pick more random numbers okay so what I have then is the first largest, second largest, and third largest numbers in here. What I could then do is find the position of those numbers within this column and then return the name within the same position. So a good function for that is match. That will return the position of a value within an array. You've also got X match if you have the latest version of Excel. But to be inclusive, I'll use match. So the lookup value is what large is returning, comma, the lookup array is this column here, and then the, which I'll fix, and then the match type is zero because I want an exact match. Okay, so I'll press enter, it returns 10, copy that across. So the numbers are changing all the time because I'm recalculating every time I make an edit. But now, for example, the first, the highest number is in position six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, point eight nine. You can see there are no numbers above that. Second highest number is in position three, point eight three. And there aren't any other numbers higher than that apart from the highest number. So you can see that this is working. So I now have the position of the number within that column. So how do I refer to or return the name in this column in the same position. Well, I use index again. So within this array, this is my first argument array, that's 
that's basically the column that I'm going to return values from. And I'm going to fix that because I'm going to be copying it across. I'm then using match to return the row number. And I don't need to use column number because it's not mandatory and I only have one column. I'm returning values from the name column. So press enter. Copy across. Just widen these a little bit. You can see now it's pulling out three top names. So let's just check this is working. So uh, Tanya Jaqua. There we are. She's got the highest number. You can see that. So Jerry Hulls, 0.92. No other numbers higher than that apart from the top number. Tiafila Motta. Uh, 0.83, no other numbers higher than that apart from the top two. So you can see it's worked. If I press F9, it will pick out three other random names. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully you found it useful, a bit of fun if nothing else. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.